Welcome to Lanstone Products, Lisbon Pit. Thank you for taking a few minutes to complete our site-specific safety and hazard awareness training. We want to let you know about the rules for our site and any hazardous conditions you may encounter. Being under the influence or impaired by alcohol or any illegal drugs or controlled substance is forbidden on Lanstone Products property. Handheld cell phone usage is forbidden while operating moving vehicles and equipment. Obey all traffic signs, tags, sirens, buzzers, horns, lights, and all other warning devices. Seat belts are required, and all equipment must be in safe working order. All trash must be disposed of in the trash cans provided on site. Watch for cross traffic when entering and exiting the mine site, and also while navigating between stockpiles. Speed limit on the mine site is 10 miles per hour. Always remain in control of your vehicle. Land and Stone Products vehicles have the right of way. Always make eye contact before approaching heavy equipment. Do not exit the vehicle for any reason while near stockpiles, processing plants, or while being loaded. At no time should you ever be between your truck and a stockpile. We use channel 31 for all radio communications. Mobile equipment can't be left unattended unless the parking brake is engaged and wheels are chalked. Never park in front of or behind stationary equipment. Avoid working outside during extreme weather conditions such as thunderstorms, heavy rain, hail, or high winds. Make sure the snow and ice have been removed or covered with material to give safe footing. All unauthorized persons must stay away from electrical wires, transformers, control rooms, and other electrical components. Always keep 10 feet of clearance from power lines. Stay clear of all quarry ledges and high walls. Don't work next to high walls without a falling object protection system. Stay one third of the height of the high wall away from the bottom of the high wall. Avoid all pre-mining overburden removal operations unless you are part of those operations. Avoid approaching wash plant, except for while being loaded from stockpiles. Do not approach or enter settling ponds for any reason. Blasting activities are restricted to licensed blasters. Remain clear of blasting operations. Blasting warnings include three short horns before blast and one long horn after. Hard hats are mandatory at all times in the quarry whenever outside of a vehicle. Be cautious of a wet or icy quarry floor. Use three points of contact while climbing and fall protection if necessary. Use correct lifting procedures to avoid injury and enlist aid in lifting heavy or awkward objects. Wear hearing protection in posted areas and other areas as needed. Wear safety glasses whenever there's a danger of particles entering your eyes or eye damage due to welding flash. Goggles or face shield must be worn while grinding. Wear respiratory protection wherever airborne dust or fumes are present. When welding or torching, wear approved eye protection along with a hood if needed. Welders are responsible for the safety of all others in their area. No smoking around explosive, combustible, or flammable liquids. Cigarette butts may not be left in the ground anywhere on mine site. Fire extinguishers are readily accessible. We have an AED unit and first aid kit at the scale house and a first aid kit at the main shop. In the case of an emergency, immediately dial 911. Then notify the main office for instructions. If you're not directly involved in the emergency, you might be asked to leave until conditions become safe immediately report any accident or property damage. All visitors, contractors, customers, vendors, and community members entering Landstone Products property are subject to all the safety rules established by Landstone and the Mine Safety and Health Administration. Independent contractors are responsible for training all of their employees. Report any hazards you find to Landstone Products Management. All alterations made to the mine site must be noted on a daily basis. Thank you for taking part in our site-specific safety and hazard awareness training.